Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. As the title suggests, we're gonna be discussing three skincare treatments that you must get this winter. Now that it's winter, or I should say now that it's fall, because we have not yet entered winter, this is a time where we can really treat our skin with treatments that may require a little bit more downtime, that may require us not to go outside and be in direct sunlight, and what better way to treat all that sun damage than winter time or fall time. So let's get into discussing three of my favorite treatments to get this winter. FYI, I've done all three, but for different reasons, so let's get into them and discuss why I love them. All right, number one, medical grade facials or chemical peels. So what are they? First off, they are the easiest and quickest cosmetic treatment that you can get with great results. Essentially, we are using acids to resurface the skin and remove the superficial layers of our skin to either fight hyperpigmentation or dark spots, help acne, to help melasma, to help just overall skin tone and texture or just to improve the clarity of our skin. Medical grade facials are divided into three different categories or this is how I like to divide them into. We have light, light to medium, and deep chemical peels. That means that the deeper the chemical peel gets, the more downtime that you may have. Meaning you just may have more peeling for more days. With the light or light to medium ones, you may have some dryness or peeling in the first 48 to 72 hours and it may last a few days with the deeper ones you'll definitely have more peeling and that peeling may last three to seven days when I see my patients and we are discussing medical grade facials or chemical peels I really like to discuss and kind of talk with them to see what is the main concern of their skin is it acne is it the breakouts is it the hyperpigmentation secondary to the acne is it sunspots is it melasma or is it redness we have different assets that we can customize for our patients to address each of these concerns. I always say our skin is the canvas of our face. And yes, we can do injectable treatments, but really it's so important to take care of that canvas and take care of our skin. If you don't, you can add all the injectable treatments you want, but it's just not gonna look the same than when you have that clear complexion. And now you may be thinking, well, Adriana, you're lucky you have clear complexion. Well, yes, but I also have some breakouts and I also take care of my skin. So I really think it's important to kind of incorporate that into your skincare routine and get a medical grade facial. You don't have to do it every month. Discuss with your provider which is right for you and which acids are right for your skin type. But essentially it is my favorite or it is one of my favorite skincare treatments and it's very easy to do and it doesn't take long. So schedule yourself a consultation and get a medical grade facial or a chemical peel. Just an FYI, I threw around the words as hyperpigmentation and melasma. Hyperpigmentation is essentially dark spots and melasma is a form of hyperpigmentation where patients may have dark patches along the cheekbones, on the forehead, along their upper lip. Sometimes it's referred to as the pregnancy mask. This melasma is triggered by hormones. It's triggered by heat. It's triggered by sun. So if you have melasma or if you have any of the skin conditions I mentioned earlier, there are treatments, it does take time and dedication, but it is important to take care of your skin and get a medical grade facial. Next is IPL or some form of laser treatment, whether it's a resurfacing laser or a photofacial. Let's discuss IPL. So IPL is intense pulse light, commonly referred to as a photofacial, and we are using broad spectrum light to destroy pigment or even to destroy the tiny red capillaries that one may get from rosacea. With IPL, it's really important that you stay out of the sun before and after your treatment, which is why the fall or the winter time is a great time to do it. IPL is great to help get rid of all that sun damage, all those brown spots that you may have on your skin secondary to the sun. But along with IPL or along in the category of IPL and laser. It also may be a great time to do some form of resurfacing laser for your skin to address texture, to address those brown spots, to address the hyperpigmentation. Once again, go to your provider for a consultation and see what treatment is right for you. This is a great time to do those procedures that may have some downtime because you aren't in direct contact with the sun, so you aren't at the risk of getting that hyperpigmentation 
back again. Of course, take that with a grain of salt because you can do all these treatments, but if you don't wear your sunblock, if you don't do your skincare routine, if you're not compliant with your treatments, we're kind of back to square one. So, you know, treatments, you may have to do a couple of them. You may have to do it as a lifelong treatment. One medical grade facial or chemical peel isn't going to remove every sunspot or every acne mark. One IPL treatment isn't going to remove every brown spot or red spot that you may have. This does take time. I wish there was a magical treatment, but there isn't. That's why it's really important to really work with your provider to come up with a treatment plan. Here is a little clip of me getting a medical grade facial or a chemical peel. Here I am doing a combo of a mandelic acid and a Jesner peel, which means I have a couple of different acids in this peel. It includes a mandelic acid, some salicylic acid, lactic acid, and resorcinol. For me, I like to do a chemical peel that addresses some redness that I have on my skin that helps me with a little bit of my pores. I got a lot of blackheads and whiteheads, so for me it's more comedonal acne rather than pustule acne. I'll also, I do get a little bit of hyperpigmentation if I'm guilty of picking something, or sometimes if I do get more of like a cystic type of acne, it may heal with a dark spot on my skin. And then the resorcinol is just to improve overall texture. So this is a little clip of me just getting my medical grade facial. It's really painless, it's really easy. Great treatment to incorporate into your skincare routine. Okay, number three, my favorite treatment, microneedling. You may have seen my post on Instagram or my TikTok or Reel, whatever you wanna call it, of me getting microneedling. I did it with PRP, which of course I recommend to get microneedling with PRP, but that also comes with a higher cost. So even if you cannot do it with PRP or if it doesn't fit your skincare budget, doing microneedling without PRP is just as amazing. So definitely schedule your microneedling treatment. Let's discuss microneedling and what it does. So essentially we are using tiny needles to induce controlled micro injuries to stimulate collagen production. These little needles are going anywhere from 0.5 millimeters to 2.5 millimeters in depth into the skin. We are creating those injuries so our body essentially sees that there is some form of injury to the skin and it's sending its cells to repair it. This treatment is going to help improve any acne scarring that you may have. It's gonna help with the fine lines and wrinkles. It's gonna help with hyperpigmentation. It's gonna help with pores. I really like this treatment even if you don't have any of the above skin conditions or skin concerns that I mentioned. It's just great for overall collagen production and do something as a maintenance treatment. With IPL or with different resurfacing laser, the downtime may vary. For example, with, with IPL, you will have just darkening of those brown spots if that's what you're targeting and they will flake off. So really not much downtime, but definitely with a resurfacing laser, you will have downtime for about a week. Definitely take that into consideration when booking this treatment. The one that required, I guess, the most downtime for me personally was the microneedling, but I still went to work. I was just red for the first 48 hours and I'll kind of link my little video right here of one, how microneedling works, and two, just kind of a quick recovery of how my skin looked day to day. That being said, even if you don't have any of the concerns that I mentioned, whether it be hyperpigmentation, acne, redness, maybe you have porcelain skin, it's still great to do these treatments. As we age, our skin cell turnover begins to decrease, so we do have those dead skin cells staying longer at the surface. So it's great to do a peel every so often, just because it's not visible to the skin. This is all working on a cellular level. So just like you may go get a facial, it is important to incorporate a treatment as well and of course incorporate good skincare products so anyway I'm going to end this video here if you have any questions about these treatments leave them in the comments below of course I can't give medical advice over the internet so definitely I would recommend to see a provider to address any concerns that you may have but other than that I'll see you all on my next video bye